Did you know that you can rearrange audio recordings in any way you need to using Video Leap? Let me show you how. The first thing I'm going to do is find the voice recording I want to use for a new subscribe clip that I'm going to build. I'm going to use this clip in a future tutorial. So the first thing I'll do once the Voice Memos app is open is tap on the three dots, swipe down, and tap on Save to Files. As you can see, I've only got one recording, and this is the recording I want to use. Swipe down on this list and tap on Save to Files, and give it a descriptive name so you can find it later when you open up the Files app. Type the name in here. When you've named your recording, tap on Done. And then don't forget to tap on Save. The audio recording is now saved to the Files app. I'm going to swipe up to close down the Voice Memos app and open the Files app. For those of you using iOS 14, the latest version, I'm searching in the app library. If you can't find your recording in the folder where you saved it, tap on the Reasons tab and try searching for it by name. It takes a moment to upload once it's saved. When you've found the recording that you want to use, long press on it, and you're going to look for the share option. Make sure that you've spelled the name correctly, or you may not find the result you're looking for. This is the recording I just saved. Tap on Share. Now you'll want to swipe over and find Video Leap. Tap on it. If Video Leap is already open, this may not work properly, so I need to swipe up and close Video Leap completely. And then I'll repeat this part of the process and you'll see what happens. I'll tap on the Files app once more. If the app is not in the main app list, tap on the three dots and you can get access to more apps. I'm going to tap on Video Leap and you'll notice that the recording has come in as an overlay. There is no video with this recording yet, but keep watching because I'm going to add it later. I'll start by trimming the recording. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And the end. Did you notice the order of those statements? I'm going to change them to fit with a different clip that I'm trying to create. You can split any layer, whether it's video or not, and you can rearrange the order of any to hit statements. That notification bell. I'll just finish trimming the clip. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks. I'm going to split the clip twice. I love Mike's giving videos. Giving me three video clips. Please subscribe to his channel. Here. Now I have two clips. For more and tips, tricks, and here. tutorials. Now I have three clips. I'll use the balloon thumbnail. Don't forget thumbnails to hit that notification bell to rearrange the order of the statements. Just long press on the sections that you want to move. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And that's the way that I want the audio to play. Next, I'm going to add some stock footage which contains a green screen image of a subscribe logo that's animated, which I will get from pixabay.com. I'm going to tap the plus sign, tap on stock, and search for the word subscribe with the Pixabay option selected. When you're using stock images, you want to make sure that they say free in the upper right hand corner so that you can export them. Choose the one that you want and it will be downloaded into the project when you tap on it. The 
The next thing I'm going to do is select the video clip that I, I just love brought Mike's in. Videos. You can see there's some audio there that I don't want. So I will tap on unlink with the video clip selected to remove the audio from the video clip so that just my audio plays. Let me play the clip one more time and I'll show you what it looks and sounds like. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. That sounds great. Next, I'll export the video clip so that I can use it in other projects. I'll tap on the export icon, choose the resolution. In my case, I'll choose 4K, and then I'll tap on save to save it to my camera roll. Don't do anything to interrupt the export at this point, or your video may not export properly. The video has exported successfully, and now I can bring it into other projects or other video editing software 